Hi friends, in this video I'm gonna talk about high arches. And this is a topic, uh, or a label rather, that we get a lot of questions about. So my goal here is to give it a little bit of context uh, and simplify it and hopefully explain that having high arches, being told you have high arches doesn't actually mean a whole lot. And we need to dive into a little bit more um, about whether the arch can move or not and how well you stabilize the arch, okay? so. The term high arches is kind of like low arches or flat feet in that it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because what you're doing is describing a static label for a structure that moves, right? Your foot changes position all the time. And so when it comes to arches, the way I view it is there's really only two important elements. Number one is, is the arch dynamic? Are you able to change the position from a high arch position? or a um, pronounced arch, which we might call supination, to a low arch position, which is called pronation. Those terms have a little bit more nuance, but for our purposes, um, supination, arch lifts it up, pronation, arch flattened down, okay? So are you able to move the arch of your foot? And then how well do the muscles of your foot control the deformation of that arch? Right? Arches are super efficient at distributing load. It's why we used to build arches. Um, we, build, we used to build rather stone bridges using the arch structure because it's really efficient at taking a big load and distributing out to stable points that are anchored to the ground. So at TFC, we define natural foot function as feet that are mobile, stable, strong, pain-free, and resilient. And the ones that I really wanna put a pin in right now are mobile, stable, and strong. And so if you're someone with a rigid high arch who wants to restore natural foot function, uh, what you would work towards doing is to mobilize your foot, right? If your foot has become really stiff in that high arch position, what you wanna do is mobilize it so you have access to more positions at your foot. You have access to more deformity, uh, more motion at the arch of your foot. And if you haven't already watched uh, the hip video, which you should have by now, um, but feel free to refer back to that because your hip function has a huge bearing on the position of your foot. And so if your foot is stuck somewhere, it might be your hip that's actually the stuck element and not being able to control the position of your foot. So those two are interrelated as well. At the end of the day, everyone's built different. Some people have a genetic predisposition to having a stiffer high arched foot. Um, and in other cases, it's environmental, right? You might have worn rigid, stiff, supportive shoes or uh, orthotics for a prolonged period of time, and that can create a foot that is stiff and stuck in that high arch position. So the important things to remember once again are your foot is a shock absorber. Its job is to protect your joints upstream from being exposed to those impact forces. So it's important for a shock absorber to be mobile, right? You need to be able to have an arch of your foot that is able to change shapes. You also need muscles in your foot uh, and around your hip that allow you to control the deformation of that shape so that you're not stuck in a really flat position or a really high position. At the end of the day, this is all contextual based on, okay, the foot that you have right now, um, the foot function you have right now, how is that affecting what you want to do or what you're able to do? And based on where you wanna to get to, right? If you have foot pain, you wanna to get to no foot pain, or you have a rigid foot and you wanna get a more mobile foot, that objective is gonna guide what experiments are most appropriate for you. So our bodies always adapt to what we expose them to. If you have rigid, stiff feet, work to mobilize your feet, switch to natural footwear so that you turn every step into a foot mobilization. Um, and as time passes, if you surround your foot with the right environment, AKA natural footwear, and you avoid exposing it to damaging environments, AKA prolonged use of supportive rigid orthotics or supportive rigid shoes, you're gonna have great feet. So hopefully that clarifies high arches, and sort of opens the conversation a little bit broader saying that saying someone has high arches says very little about their foot function. And at the end of the day, foot function is really what's most important uh, when we're talking about restoring natural foot function. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope that helped. Please give us feedback um, on Mighty. Let us know if that was a good explanation or if you want us to explain it a different way. Uh, or tune into our monthly TFC call where you can ask questions and have a bunch of foot nerds answer them as best we can. Thanks for watching. Ciao.